Greetings accounting students. Let's start with a broad overview of the role of source documents used in accounting. And an excellent starting point is to look at the terminology. What do we mean by the word source? Well, source is an origin of something. So in accounting, our source documents are the origin of our recording and reporting process. The source documents have a secondary role to support a couple of our key QCs, qualitative characteristics, which guide the way that we report information. They enable us to verify all transactions. And this in turn supports the faithful representation QC by ensuring that our reports faithfully represent real world economic events and are free from bias and material error. So we can categorize our source documents into three major categories. We've got our cash transactions and they will be evidenced via EFT, electronic funds transfer, cash receipts for the money coming in. And we'll also have some check butts for outgoings, cash payments. We'll also have source documents used in credit transactions, invoices. And then third, um, thirdly, we'll have a separate category of internal transactions or non-cash, non-credit. So I'll talk about these a bit later. So they'll typically be internal memos that we make to ourselves. And it's at this point, it's useful to reinforce the role of source documents in the accounting process. So there are inputs, and then we process this information if we're doing unit one accounting into our special journals. So our cash receipts journal, our cash payments journal, credit sales journal, credit purchases journal. And from that, we'll total up that information and then we'll produce our three reports, cash flow, or statement of receipts and payments, an income statement, and a balance sheet. If we're using double entry, then we'll add an extra step. We'll process our information in a general journal. And then from that, we'll post that to our general ledger. We'll have a different ledger for all our individual accounts before we total that up and produce our outputs, our reports. Now, let's just revisit the terminology. I've already talked about what we mean by source, but what do we mean by documents? A document is some form of stimulus material that features information such as dates, such as dollar amounts, such as summaries or descriptions of transactions or financial events, details about who the seller is and who the payer is. Now, what triggers the need to record or report source documents into a journal? Good question. Well, basically whether a transaction has occurred. A transaction is where there's an exchange between two entities. So that exchange might be uh, a cash exchange where the buyer has handed over cash to the seller or goods. So the supplier has basically provided the goods to the customer. That would, re that would necessitate recording of transactions. That doesn't always occur in accounting with some of the documents um, that feature in the process. So for instance, a statement of account doesn't require any recording or reporting because it basically summarizes um, all of the transactions for an accounts receivable or accounts payable um, for a period of time. So therefore it enables a cross-checking mechanism. So we don't double record any of the transactions there. They've already been recorded as credit sales, credit purchases, cash receipts or cash payments, depending on where we are in the accounting process. Same with the bank statement. A bank statement is simply a summary of past events. So we're not going to double record any of the transactions that feature in our bank statement. A purchase order is basically a promise 
to buy some goods in the future, but no money's changing hands, no goods are changing hands yet. So therefore we don't record or reporting anything until we get to that stage. Now, what I'm gonna do now is make a part two of this video where I'm going to go through some practical examples from the textbook that my school is using ATM. So if that is of interest, I'll go through how to unpack an invoice, a cash receipt, check butt, BFT, etc. So you can check out the video via my channel.